Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Manchester United career mode here today on the channel. We have episode 5 and the finale of my series on the FIFA 22 mod pack. So, we've been drawn against Bayern Munich in the Champions League final. Oh, it's going to be an absolute cracker. We face Julian Nagelsmann's Bayern. I can't wait for this one. So, we're still playing on the FIFA 22 mod, which adds... All the upcoming brand new kits for FIFA 22, all the updated new transfers, and also a bunch of new features as well. So, we've also got a lot of other aspects in this mod pack, from FIFA's Realism mod, the Graphics mod, it's just like a huge mod pack, which is really quite awesome. I would recommend it. Okay, so we've won the Premier League. Unfortunately, disappointingly, in the last episode, we got knocked out to a 90 mi 90th minute header from Romelu Lukaku. In the FA Cup final. So, we'll, cause, hmm, even though they're technically at home, we'll, we'll play in the red. This is a United career, not a buying career. So, I actually don't mind. That's a, That's got, like, mountains on it. Like the Germanic Alps. Oh, cool. Alright, let's get stuck into them. Okay, so Bayern have brought in Martip. I kind of like that signing. Going back to the Bundesliga. I guess because Van Dijk... Is back up to full fitness. Fabinho can play in the defence. And Ibrahim Kanate from Rosenborg Leipzig has been brought in. So Matip's game time has been slashed. So that's why he's gone to Bayern. But they're about to get it underway. Champions League final. Let's go. Fred Fernandez back to Cavani. Who converts? Goes all the way, smashes it past Manuel Neuer. And if the first goal scorer, without a shadow of a doubt, was going to be Edison Cavani. Come on. This dude is in red-hot form this season. Nine goals in the UEFA Champions League. Goretzka. Muller. Oh, it's a good goal. I thought he might have been a little bit too far out, but David De Gea has let through a clanger there. 1-1, one, one, just before the 13th. Goretzka, contract expiring. A lot of con uh, players sniffing around that free agency, so it'll be interesting to see where Goretzka goes. Cavani, back up the other end. Rashford now in the final. Converts. He nearly put that ball a little bit too far out in front of him, but he's made it 2-1. Just for the 18th minute there. That was so, so close. But Rashford. British royalty. <laughs> Royal Rashford. Has gone out and converted the goal. Muller. Kimmich. Come on, boys. Maguire, good tackle. Sane with the goal. Ugh. Cavani. All things tie. No way. It can't be Fred. Oh! <laughs> if you guys have been watching this series, Fred has scored in, yes, the round of 16, the quarters, the semis, and now the final. That must be some sort of record. Scoring in every single knockout round. Fred has made it. 3-2. He's been the best player of this career series. Along with Cavani. Trippier. Pogba. Can we get a late goal here? Cavani. Oh! That is textbook. That's a textbook banger. 4-2. Held the ball well with a nice little piece of skill. A lot of players sat off him as he was getting into the box. Look at this. Rolls. Top right. You know a goal is going in and it's so, so good when it's top bins and Manuel Neuer doesn't move. Is that it? Yep. The full-time whistle is blown. We have gone out. M1. The UEFA Champions League in style. 4-2 we win. <laughs> Six goals in the final. By Munich. In the new updated FIFA 22 kit. With the German mountains watching over them. Or the Swiss Alps. Or I guess it's probably what it is. 
I don't know, what are they, Bavaria, they might, yeah, the Bavarian mountains are probably different, I don't know, I haven't looked at the kit, <laughs> what, mountain range, there's going to be a little bit of Austria as well, just thinking off the top of my head, that mountain range, but anyway, that's enough about the Bavarians, we've beaten Bayern, R.I.P. to Muller, uh, it's a shame they couldn't go out and win it for him, I guess, but we've gone out and won the double. I won't consider this series a failure then. We went out and won the Premier League. Unfortunately, we had an opportunity... Well, we lost the FA Cup. We had an opportunity to win the treble. We disappointingly got knocked out of the Carabao early on by Spurs on pens. But we've gone and won the Champions League. After having a pretty difficult run as well. Our group was not easy. Atalanta... Dortmund and PSG. We had Lazio in the round of 16, which we progressed. Then Real Madrid in the quarters. Then PSG in the semis. And then Bayern in the final. Sometimes you can have a bit of an easier run to the Champions League until you get to the final. And then it's anyone's pick. But that was a really hard and torrid Champions League campaign. But hey, we were better for it. Progressing through. But Harry Maguire... The captain lifts his first UEFA Champions League. And Jaden Sancho wins his first. Raphael Varane. Rafa Varane. Is that five Champions Leagues or four? I can't remember off the top of my head how many he's won. He's definitely won three, but was it four because of a different... Maybe. I don't know. He's won a lot. He's one of the, like, historic best defenders in world football. The amount of trophies he's won. 4-2, United win. And we'll run through the stats. So we'll have a look at the stats, and then we're going to wind up this series. Is there a point to doing Season 2? Let me know in the comments. I'm definitely open to do so, but I don't know. Maybe we should play someone else. Chelsea, Spurs, PSG, Man City, I don't know, Aston Villa. <laughs> that might be quite different. There's the Premier League shortlist. Manchester United are the Champions League winners. Our highest rated player there, Jaden Sancho, celebrating and standing next to the pro trophy. I don't know how Arteta got manager of the month when they're not even in the top seven. Spurs were quite close in the title race with us. Chelsea won the FA Cup 3-2 and Liverpool won it at 2-1. So Liverpool and Chelsea both picked up trophies, but you nearly consider it a failure. <laughs> Spurs lost the Europa League 2-1. Two, two final losses under Nuno. Ugh. I'd be gutted. Uh, Salah with a lot of goals. So, let's have a look at the overall ratings. Wow. So, Jaden Sancho shot up to a 93 rating, plus 5. Fernandez is 92 rated. Rashford, 89. Rafael Varane, 88. Pogba, 88. David De Gea, 87. How is he 87? He's been letting in clangers this season. Trippier, 86. Wambasaka, 86. Luke Shaw, 85. And Donny van der Beek, as well, 85. But Jaden Sancho winning the Premier League and the Champions League came here as an 88 rated player and has shot up to a 93, being merely 21 years of age. Fernandez, 26. Uh, Maguire, 84 rated. Here's the, the goal stats. So Edison Gavani. Excuse me. Scored 45 goals. 20 assists. Fernandez and him. I was going to say it's 50. It's nearly closer to 70 goals. Sancho with 26. Rashford with 19. Fred with 13. Fred scored more than Pogba. Rashford and nearly McTominay combined. And like swap out McTominay in that stat for like Van Der Beek. Yeah, Martial did not play very well for us this season. But Edison Cavani, 34 years of age at 84 overall, going down in stats, was the Premier League and Champions League top goal scorer. Fernandez with 48 assists. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Fred just found himself in just... Wait, how did Fred outstat Paul Pogba? 
Um, so after 64 games played, we won 50, we drew 5 and lost 9. And we pick up 2 trophies. And here are some potential job openings that we could take, if you guys like the look of any of those. And here is the profit for the club as well. But anyway, thank you very much for watching the final episode of my Manchester United career mode series on the FIFA 22 mod. I'm going to be starting a brand new series with someone else, unless you guys would like to see season two. All right, guys, take care. Peace. I'm going to play the outro now and say thanks to my patrons. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C, and Wyatt P. So thanks guys, my name has been Simsy, much love from Australia, goodbye.